How's it going? My name is Sean Skikandy, and I'm going over your safety rules at Palm Beach State Chemistry Lab. Make sure you thoroughly read the instructions before starting a lab. Safety goggles are a must. They must be worn in the lab at all times. I would highly advise that you also get a lab coat to protect your clothing and more importantly to protect your skin. Shoes that covers the top of your feet are very important also. So this goes for the ladies and for the guys that there are no flip flops allowed in the lab. Make sure that you have long, loose-fitting pants to protect from chemicals also. And ladies, please remember to wear your hair back. Hey, come on. It's, it's so late already. Sorry. Make sure that there's no eating or drinking in the lab for your safety, and definitely no smoking. This includes the new electronic cigarettes. They are not allowed in the lab. What am I doing? Take that off of there. <laughs> What's wrong? Burned your hand. Burned your hand. Right. Never handle hot objects with your bare hands. You are provided with heat resistant gloves and tongs in the lab. Now dealing with small burns, immediately go to the sink and rinse. Always remember to wear safety gloves while working in the chemistry lab. Make sure that you familiarize yourself with these different features in the lab in case of an emergency situation. Look around and see where all your exits are. Know where your eye wash station is, know where your shower is, your emergency shut off, your emergency gas shut off, and familiarize yourself with all the fume hoods. Know where the fire extinguisher is in case of an emergency also. Treat all chemicals as hazardous and make sure to read your labels twice to make sure you have the right chemical. Do not weigh materials directly on the balance pans. Use glassware such as a beaker or a designed weigh paper. If you cut yourself, Immediately rinse the affected area and your instructor will come with a first aid kit. What happened this time? Is your hand okay? Oh my gosh! The first thing you should do if something breaks in the lab is tell your instructor immediately. Your instructor will then guide you where the brooms and dustpans are to handle this broken glassware. Remember, broken glassware only goes in the broken glassware bin. We don't throw paper disposal in it or any other waste in this broken glass disposal. Best. Next, I'd like to go over how to handle a chemical spill. First, contact your instructor and let them know that a chemical has been spilled. They will then instruct you how to handle this chemical spill, either using a spill kit or with small spills, possibly using paper towels. Never taste chemicals and never smell chemicals directly. Always waft. Professor. If spills occur on your clothing, you must first remove the affected area and then rinse immediately. Depending on the size of the spill, a small spill can be rinsed in the sink and a larger spill might have to be rinsed in the shower. chemical splashes into your eye, immediately proceed over to the eye wash station. Every lab is equipped with an eye wash station. Rinse for at least 15 minutes or until the chemical is fully removed. To prevent contamination of stock reagents, never return chemicals to the stock bottle. Either share with another student or dispose of as instructed. Before you pour, know how much you need. To re 
reduce the waste of chemicals. Use distilled water for reactions or making solutions. Do not waste the distilled water by washing your glassware. Okay, we'll go ahead and put that on the rack then. Okay, what else am I supposed to do? Oh my god! Alright, get down, get down, roll, roll. In the event of a fire, notify your instructor immediately and they will give you instructions on how to handle the situation. In case your clothing catches fire, stop, drop, and roll immediately. Make sure you never touch your hands to your face or your body while in the lab and make sure you wash your hands thoroughly before leaving the lab. Remember to wipe down your lab station before you leave the lab. And have a safe and productive semester, and as Professor Judd says, don't burn it down.